Hello, friends. Tomorrow begins the most sacred week in the life of the Christian Church, Holy Week. We begin by remembering the events of what we now call Palm Sunday, when Jesus had his triumphal entry into the city of Jerusalem, where this boutique wall hanging is from. The crowds welcomed him with such adulation they shouted, Hosanna, save us. They welcomed a king. But did they really understand what sort of king he was? The events later in Holy Week show us that most did not. Tomorrow, we hope that you will join us at 10 online on Facebook, on the Drew Church page, or on my page. And during the week, there are other opportunities for worship in which I hope that you will participate because truly we cannot celebrate the depths and wonder and joy of Easter without going through the pain first. And so I invite you first to remember this entry into Jerusalem. On Wednesday, we will have our afternoon check-in at 4 p.m. Information is about that in the email. On Thursday at 7 p.m., we will have a Zoom service on Monday, Thursday, in which you can participate by going to the Zoom site on the link that you will receive today. I invite you to have with you at that time a cup with some kind of juice and some kind of bread. And we will together remember this meal that Jesus shared with his friends on that night so long ago, a poignant night, a bittersweet night. We will on Zoom be able to see each other's faces if we choose, but if you just want to listen, that's fine too. We hope that we will see each other's faces at that time, 7 p.m. on Thursday. On Friday, there are two opportunities to join us for worship. Pastor Wan Ji will be leading a Friday afternoon at 1.30 service, and you will see that link in our email. And at 7 p.m., I will be doing a live stream of a tenebrae service. The word tenebrae means darkness or shadows. And that will be at Drew Church. And it will be live streamed here on Facebook, on the church page, and on mine. Next Sunday, we will have our Easter celebration at 10 a.m., uh, right here. But I encourage you to participate in the events of the week, the worship opportunities, so that we can hear the whole story and why it is that Easter Sunday morning was such an impossible and spectacular event for those who were here and for those long ago. Because in this time of chaos, and uncertainty, we sure do need a word of hope, and Easter provides that. So journey with me through this week of first celebration tomorrow, and then uncomfortableness, pain, despair, suffering, fear. Throughout this week, we experience so many different things. Please join me. May God continue to bless you and keep you with my love and in the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>